The Explosion of the Horseless Carriage It's hard to imagine a time when the streets weren't filled with the hum of engines, but motor cars were a rarity at the turn of the 20th century. It wasn't until the 1920s that they truly became a common sight in the USA. The watershed moment. The introduction of Ford's Model T in 1908. Its production ramp-up and the subsequent proliferation of automobiles revolutionized how Americans moved around. Before the internal combustion engine took over, horses were pulling everything. People got from point A to point B in horse-drawn carriages and wagons, while city dwellers typically relied on streetcars and an expanding network of trams for urban transport. The American Commute, a history of transformation. The change didn't happen overnight. Horse-drawn transport didn't just vanish like a puff of steam from a locomotive. It was a slow and steady transition where the automobile had to prove its worth, reliability, and cost-effectiveness. As car ownership started to surge, it reshaped the American dream, literally paving the way for suburban expansion and the mobility-driven culture we now take for granted. Roads, which were once simple dirt tracks, had to evolve into paved surfaces that could handle the wear and tear of rubber tires and the weight of metal machines a lot heavier than wooden carts. The 20th century saw a progressive decline in horse-drawn commuting, and by the 1930s, the world of transportation was markedly different. The rumble of engines had largely replaced the clip-clop of hooves, and the modern car-centric world was in full gear. Living in Portland, Oregon today, the echoes of that transformation are still visible, from the century-old horse rings tied to curbs to the vibrant streetcar system, a nod to the urban mobility before the world got motorized. If those old streetcars could talk, they'd tell a tale of a city and a nation on the brink of a fast-approaching future where horses gave way to horsepower.